Joe Robine of American Cane Self-Defense. Today we're looking at how to best structure your cane training sessions to get the best results, given that many of us don't have a lot of time. But you should always start every session with a simple question. What's the goal for today? And there's nothing wrong with just picking up the cane, going outdoors on a beautiful day, as you've seen me do, and going out there and dancing and freestyling. That is fantastic. But when you're really trying to focus in on a skill set that you need to develop and just part of your regular training, you should have a goal. And as an example, if I'm working on power shots and I'm following the ACSD strategy of developing power, speed, and accuracy, let's pick up power. So it's power day. You'll find me doing full body movements, whether it be with added resistance or not, and then maybe be picking up that cane and going to the bag and going all out with power shots because that's the goal and I put that first in the session. It's speed day. Great. Well, maybe I'm sitting down and I'm exploding up from my chair and moving. I'm laying down because I often lay down and have the cane next to me at arm's length. Can I get up from there quick? How about quick draw drills like you have at the Cobra uh, Cane uh, Self-Defense Academy? So individual hasn't drawn first, he reaches for his pockets. Can I be first because my tool's already drawn? Don't assume you don't know this if you haven't trained it. Accuracy, same thing. My ability to strike the intended area without telegraphing. So if you're coming at me, you throw a punch, and I take out that knee and that shin. Am I really hitting that knee and that shin? Do I have the ability to do that? And if you have a warm body to do that with, you need to be very careful or use a drone, right? Use a padded tool. Uh, if I'm going here, you may have seen me do that before where I'm hitting the... Um, the cane tip, I don't recommend you do it off of a warm body on this one, especially if you're just starting out, but maybe put it on top of a body opponent bag. And in other words, you're doing drills that improve that skill and you do it first in your training when you have the most energy. Now, I'll pause there for a second. There is a place for fatigue and fight and we're big on it. Again, those of you in, in the Cobra Cane uh, Academy, it, you're familiar with the concept of fatiguing first. So I have a skill set that I've already developed to a certain level and I want to test it. I want to get better. Uh, I may be doing push-ups and all of a sudden getting up and going uh, and doing that skill set. I may be hitting the bag with my empty hand, my palm heel shots, my hammer fist. Then I have to pick up the cane and fight off an opponent or go into a shark tank. Why? Because anybody can do anything in a relaxed state. But when you're under fatigue and those of you that have had to at some point run, swim, or fight for your life, you know what I'm saying. Adrenaline has a very unique way of taxing you, of fatiguing you. And if you've never trained like that, then God forbid you find yourself in a situation like that, guess what? You're gonna run out of gas. And I don't want that for you. So there is also a place for fatigue and fight. I should preface the whole thing by saying that safety always first. And get this, more is not better. Better is better. I don't have to take all these skill sets in one session and try to pile them all into a workout. There's no sense in doing that. Consistency, shorter uh, the sessions, more uh, frequent throughout the week, we'll get it done. The key is that you're doing something with this tool every single week. And by the way, if I'm doing maneuverability drills here and all of a sudden that cane falls um, and I pick it up and it's a wooden a crimson, it's a, a spinner cane, and I wipe off you know, the sweat in my hands and my hands are sweating and it continues to happen two, three times, guess what? That means you're fatigued. <laughs> There's local uh, muscular uh, um, fatigue there. It's interrupting the, uh, the skill set. Guess what? Either move on to another uh, aspect of training or that's it for the day. That's how you structure it. Consistency is the key. And hey, we are on this side to support you. We're at 800-289-8188. And if you're new to this, I encourage you to visit um, AmericanCaneSelfDefense.com all the training happens at CaneSelfDefenseUniversity.com. I'm Joe Robinow for American Cane Self-Defense. Thanks for watching. Keep caning and always stay safe.